women's singles champion and now men's singles champion as well. A first ever Super Series title for Shrikan Kidambi. Absolutely extraordinary. Well, he thoroughly deserved the win. 45 minutes. And there is a new star in the world of badminton. Shakan Kidabe. Victory 21-19, 21-17 over the great Linda. Well, it says award ceremony for the men's singles, but uh, that's going to happen in just a minute or two because, first of all, presentation of our tournament referees. So both players are invited to step forward. Well, 76th career final for Lin Dan. And it's only the 19th time that he's been in the second spot of the podium. Shrikan Kudambi, his previous best, a semi-final at this year's Singapore Super Series event. Well, to win the first ever Super Series title at a premier event really is very special indeed. We look at his previous achievements, Shrikan, 2012 titles, Maldives International 
and Bahrain International. Last year, Thailand Grand Prix gold event, which really announced him onto the world stage. But this tournament, I think Morton has turned him into a star. Absolutely, everybody will be coming to watch him play. And when he plays like what we've seen here today, you know, he, he's definitely worth it. What a, what a performance it was in this tournament. But in all honesty, again, we have to go back to what we said earlier. He's got to be more consistent. Yeah, of course. But I think it's been a wonderful day for India, for Indian badminton. You know, they've got the Commonwealth Games gold medalist in Kashyap, Kashyap, yeah. Palmer Valley. They've now gone to Super Series champion in the men's singles. Sina Nawal has been there for a while. They've got PV Sindhu. They've got a whole host of players. In the past, they've been reliant on just Sina Nawal. Yes. Now, India is a real force to be reckoned with in world terms. Totally agree. Well done. Doubles final. Let's have a look at the destination Dubai rankings for the women's doubles. And Matsutomo and Takihashi, having been in the semi final here, consolidate their place at the top. After uh, the French, of course, Margin and Tang Chin Yuan Ting, who reached the final in Paris, shot up from six to number four, but they will go back down to number six because the pair ranked at number six, Tiang Ching and Xiao Yunlei will uh, jump above them because they are indeed in today's final, as indeed are uh, the pair ranked at number 10. So whether Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang, whether they win or lose, they will go up two places to number eight on the ranking after today's final, but they still won't be in a qualifying position. Just to remind you, it is only the top eight players or pairs, and you're not allowed more than two pairs or two players in the singles from any one nation. So, for the three-time defending champions, Wong Xiao Li and Yu Young, the number five seeds here, it is imperative that they win this week and probably next week as well, so I don't think they're playing together next week. Anyway, here is uh, the women's doubles uh, draw from the quarter-final stage. And as you can see, dominated by China in the semi-finals, only Matsutomo and Takahashi, who incidentally have just become the new world number ones 
on the world ranking list, not uh, the Super Series list, which they have been world number ones on the Destination Dubai list. For a while. For a while, yep, yep absolutely. Anyway, this is a repeat of the World Championship final from earlier this year. And of course, on that occasion, it was the number two seeds, Tiang Ching and Xiao Yunlei, who won. Their opponents had been the defending world champions, two time world champions, Wang Xiaoli and Yu Young. So, really, these two pairs have dominated world badminton over the last four years or so. So, Yu Young and Wang Xiaoli. Well, for Yu Young, this is her sixth final in the women's doubles here because she was twice runner up with Du Jing 2007 and 2009. It really is quite a record, isn't it? So there is. Young, former Olympic champion with Du Jing, 28 years of age now, and they're world ranking of five. They've only played eight tournaments towards that world ranking. 25 year old Wang Xiaoli, their win loss record for the year. Well, not exactly right according to my statistics because down as three losses but five finals from six tournaments is very very impressive now in the first round they actually had a bye and that was one of our talking points earlier in the week which we'll come back to in a minute as we look at Zhao Yun Lei already winner of the mixed doubles 28 years of age as indeed is her partner number two seeds number four on the world ranking of course both these pairs are former world number ones as pairs and both or two players on court opposing each other have been world number ones with other partners as well. So <laughs> I think we can conclude that they're pretty impressive they women's doubles players. Well, again, they had a bye in the first round, number eight seeds in the quarterfinal. The Indonesian pair of Gracia Poli and Meswari, who won the Asian Games gold medal. Now I make it 15. 15th meeting between these two. They make it nine and five, but the last meeting was certainly those world championships. World championships in Copenhagen, 21-19, 21 15 Of course, it's a, an issue. Well, maybe that's a bit strong, but it is something in world badminton that some tournaments don't count world, towards world rankings and therefore don't appear on the right. database. Commonwealth Games, China. Asian Games. European Which Games? Well, we haven't had it yet, but whether right. that appears on it, I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, we, we count the Olympic China. Games, as indeed we should, towards world rankings. You have to serve to Tianqing, we can come back to it. Yeah. So the defending champions, Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang. What a start. The world One Olympic love. champions, Tianqing and Zhao Yunlei. Service over, one off. Oh, that was a cue there. People queuing up to kill it. So, one. 
better than having none. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as long as they can agree who to take it. Yeah. Yeah, there were two options, either the drop shot or the lift, I think. That would have been a good option as well. This proved possibly to be the best. There's a straight point. Uh, two play. Yes, well worked. I remember Morton in the year, and we were a little bit concerned about Yu Yang, weren't we? And uh, the fact that she was obviously struggling with injury and we wondered about her desire and whether she really wanted to uh, put in the work. We questioned her fitness levels and, you know, but so so well, having three, withdrawn four. from three tournaments early on in the year, since they they've uh, come back, they've really been pretty impressive, haven't they? Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang, five finals from six tournaments. Yeah. I, I was uh, one of the few <laughs> witnessing when they lost in uh, in Taipei. Yeah. Uh, to Gracia Foley and her partner. Aswari. So, um, but apart from that, I think, as you say, they have been very impressive. Yeah, they seem to go through a bit of a wobble patch because there was that loss in the final in Taipei, and, and then they followed that up with losing in the last 16 of the Asian Games. But since then, they've been almost unbeatable. In fact, have been unbeatable. <laughs> Won the Danish Super Series and the French. Yes. So yes, they have been unbeatable. Champions. Yeah, it was a nice angle that uh, Wang Xiaoli created on the last one, and that really did the damage. But that was a good angle. But so far, I think that uh, Chiang and Sao Yunlei has, has really been quite happy sitting back defending. Service fault called. Does that surprise you? Not the service fault, I'm talking about <laughs> sitting start. back and defending. A bit. They're, they're good, uh, aggressive uh, yeah. women's doubles, and uh, so Yunlei at, at the front is, is, as what we saw in the mixed doubles, quite devastating. Yeah. So yes, uh, I, I had expected them to um, to um, yeah, be more aggressive. Look at that, uh, lifting again. 
some counter-attacking there. And that's good. Yeah. As we were remarking in the oh. mixed doubles, how well she was moving, Zhao Yunlei. Looks to be over any injury troubles that she had. Chance here Seven, today, Morton, six. for this pair, Wang Xiao Li and Yu Yang, to make history here at the China Open because never before has any pair in any discipline won four consecutive titles here. There's two other women's doubles pairs who have won three consecutive titles, Ge Fei and Gu Jun. Yeah. Gosh, they were a good pair, weren't they? That was they? a good pair, very yeah. good pair. And Yang Wei and Zhang Jie Wen. Well, they, oh. weren't, they weren't shabby, they won the Olympics too. <laughs> 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 but nobody's won it four consecutive times. As a player, do you think about those sort of Seven things when one? you... No. Seven. No. no. Take a match at a time, see what happens. If you start considering all the other things, you know, how many times and why this and why that and who is watching and who will be disappointed and all that. You, you've got to put that aside. You go yeah. in there, you play your match and then see what happens. Yeah. Check the record books later. Later, yes. Try to put the name as, to as many trophies as possible and then that's it. Yeah. Eight, seven. In a way, a very simple life, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Seven. Yeah, the problem is people like you and me, Morton, we keep drawing these records to people's attention. Do you remember at Wimbledon when could Roger Federer win for a sixth consecutive time and break Bjorn Borg's five consecutive time record? That's all everybody was talking about. Yeah. You know, the poor man can't get away from that sort of <laughs> record and stat. Now we were putting it right in his face. Yeah. Seven. Seven. But it makes it more interesting from our point of view. Of course it does. But, you know, as, as, as a player, as an athlete, you have to sort of put it aside. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, that's a good smash across the body of Yu Yang. Service over. Eight, ten. I think that's the same, you know, just drawing on personal experience, you know, when you get older in the game and people say, oh, you, you know, he's soon finished, he's over the hill and all that, it's fine, you know, but I'm still here, I'm working at it and I just try to prove it otherwise and try to win my matches as yeah. best as possible. So, you know, whatever other people speculate, you, know, you just put it aside. Yeah. Nine, ten. Second time, Wang Jo Lee was oh. missing a, a fairly good opportunity from that position. and Zhao Yunlei have the advantage at the mid-game interval. And of course, there'll be no coaches involved because both pairs from China, so the Chinese coaching staff, just leaving it to the players to get on with the match. They'll be watching it very closely, though. But it does give us an opportunity 
more to talk about the women's doubles draw. 25 pairs in the draw, eight of those 25 pairs from Chinese. Two European pairs, one pair from the United States of America. Yes. Apart from that, all Asians. Yep. And I know everybody says, well, women's doubles is dominated by Eleven, ten, play. players, but you've got to be in it to win it. <laughs> yes. And you if you're not, if, if the Europeans aren't entering, then they have, haven't got a chance of winning. No. Yeah. How do we get more Europeans to, to come to these Eleven events? All. Well, I've asked you a, a, a question that I'm sure we're going to have to debate over our cup of tea later, but hmm. it's not an easy one to solve. It's, it's not an easy. It, it can be lots to do with funding and uh, yeah. lots of things can you know, play a role in, in a decision like that. And, and obviously, you know, the dominance of, of Chinese pairs, you know, going to China, you know, there will be even more. Chinese pairs, and, and when you look at the uh, destination Dubai, I think out of the ten pairs, five of them are Chinese, if I'm not wrong. Quite right. Two, five Chinese, two Japanese, two Koreans, and just one Danish pair. Yeah. So, so you know, apart from the, the top five pairs that China's having, they have a a lot of other pairs underneath, and you know, it's it's a tall order coming here and, and winning, and and maybe people think that you know. Uh, in terms of funding, is that the best way of spending it? Well, didn't miss on one occasion. That was an interception. Well, when we'll see our lead. Of the mark. Well, I was going to say she should be disappointed with that return of serve, but a little smile between the two more champions. Maybe just trying to relax her partner, but now making a mistake herself. Jiayun Lei. Over. 14, 17. She's made one or two errors at the front of the court today, hasn't she? Yeah, and it, it's especially just that 
position there with the interception on the forehand side. That she's not missing. No, she's got a very, very powerful so over. 18, 14. Just too much contentment to defend from 16, the Great Northern Olympic champions. Why on earth aren't they trying to counter-attack more? It would definitely give them a better chance. Um, it's, it's always difficult to, to win when you, let's say, only defend. That's, that's a tough one. So obviously they have to start to look for their chances and uh, and go for more attacks. But once again, giving it away by Sao Yun Lei. She had a chance for an attack, but she played the clear yeah. Yeah. and you know inviting once again their opponents to attack her. So just two points away from this first game for. No, just the one. 20, game point, 60. He wasn't making errors like that in the mixed doubles final, Xiao Yun Lei. Sixteen. First time I'm asking. Just eighteen minutes to play. Defending champions. Yeah. See, Yu yeah. Yang was out of position at the front of the court, and yet they just gave the shuttle a high lift. I don't understand those tactics at all from the world champions. Uh, you know, you know. Right, Twenty-one sixteen. Opening game. Just eighteen minutes of play. second game to get going. Okay. Second game, level play. 
Okay, I'm taking the open game, 21-16. And the champions on our side of the court as we look down. Looking impressive, but I hasten to add that I think that the tactics of the reigning world and Olympic champions need to change somewhat. Yeah, that's it. There we go. Well played. Service over. One love. I didn't even get the, the green court that was on the blue carpets around. What on earth was she thinking? Service over. One, two. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Good return. Service over. Three, two. Service over, three, all. Oh. Yeah, we're left. Service over, four, three. Well, the problem with a match like this, Morton, is that the two pairs know each other's games so well. The fans here in China don't know which pair to... It's a rude for. <laughs> yes, exactly. What? Anyway, I'm just checking. None of them are from Fujian province, so... Service <laughs> over. Four all. So, no one playing home ground advantage. No. You know, I, I think that um, this uh, final day of uh, China Open 2014 is actually quite fortunate. You know, when, when you look at it, when, when you have too many matches, too many finals with hey! pairs or players from the same Second nation, four. they have a tendency to fizzle out and you can see it with you can feel it with the crowd yes yeah. it's, it's completely quiet everybody is just sitting here watching it they can't really take side so to speak mm. the other four finals today yeah is having participants of different nations yeah and the crowd is up there they're with it so they enjoy one, it five, they take side and and it's, it's totally different mm. and that's what happens often i'm not saying always because I think, for instance, let's just take one example, the, the World Championship in, in the men's doubles. 
where yeah. the two Korean pairs were playing one another. That was an outstanding match. Yeah, it was sensational. But but you know that's 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 I would say Thanks. Oh. I wouldn't say rare, but it doesn't happen a lot. But when you have these matches with the same nation and all that, it tends to fizzle out a little bit. Yeah. I agree 100%, but I'm going to ask the question, Seven, why? Six. Because when I've sat down and I've watched a Wimbledon final, Jimmy Connors against John McEnroe, my goodness me, that <laughs> was exciting. That was, yeah. you know, it didn't matter that they were both from America. Seven, Is it one. that we need to Seven, get to know the players better as personalities, yes. as individuals? Yes, I, I, I think uh, it, it's... Uh, one of the issues in, in badminton in general is that uh, I'm not saying we, we lack personalities, but we we lack that people know off the players on an individual basis. Yes. And of course, in badminton, because of a number of, of reasons, uh, we tend to train together in a national training setup. And I don't think the tennis players, for one minute, I don't think John McEnroe and, and Jimmy Connors ever practiced together <laughs> properly, did they? <laughs> Our chances were small, I think. Nine, yes. Seven. So there, there's a big difference, and there's, that's perhaps an influence on, on why, as you described it, sometimes finals between the same nation fizzle out. And yet this is some, there, there is some very good rallies. There's some, th these are clearly the top two pairs in my opinion, in World Badminton. But it, because we don't have the crowd's involvement in the same way, Service over. it doesn't create Eight, the atmosphere nine. that really it deserves. Leo, play. Service over, then eight. Yeah, big gap. Oh, she's hit it long. Would you believe it? Service you over. Hit it anyway down that four Nine, side, and ten. it would have been a winner. taking her time. I'm surprised Umpa hasn't had a word. Service over. 11 9. Uh, very concerning. 11 9. Service over, 10, 11. Service for called, four. struck above the waist. Really not at all surprised. Service over, 12, 10. 
Bi Yun, service judge. Service over, 11, 13. Back level. You know, it's funny, Morton. Just sort of thinking back to our conversation there. You know, other sports, I'm thinking about other sports. Co Ovet, both 800 and 1500 metre yeah, runners, both fight. British. Yeah. Uh, and I think their rivalry was more intense because they were from the same nation. And I think you and I have discussed on occasions that when I was playing another. Brit. Gosh, I wanted to win. <laughs> that and, was and always the most difficult was to play of yeah. the same nation or nation. And, and it is that's a, a very good point, Morton, because it's difficult because you do know each other's style of, of play. And you know, but there is no reason in Babington why we shouldn't have well, this is a much better rally. End it, but you know, got the crowd going. yeah, and that's good. Well, okay, player, ready. Last year we were supposed to have this very same women's doubles final. Same two pairs in the final, but it never happened. I don't know if you remember that, Morton. No, no, I yeah. didn't know. I wasn't here. Yeah. Obviously. Obviously, I knew a new young will give them the walk over. In the final of the women's doubles in 2010 as well here at the China Open. So lucky that uh, yeah. did not happen again. Yeah, exactly. Ready? Well, 
Richard Wood, the opportunity, Wong Siao Lee. So once again, back to all square. 15 all. That's well played by Sao Yun Lei at the net. That's sort of showing a little bit of the promise that she played in, in the mixed doubles as well earlier today. Well, Yu Yang busy tying her shoelaces at the side of the court. Now, this is where the umpire, I think, should be insisting players play on. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, so-called time wasting here. Yeah. Lee? 16, 15. Oh, that's so lovely. Over. Yeah, when, she, when it works, I'm not saying it's not working, but she has made some mistakes today. Yes. I think that's, uh, I don't know if it's uncharacteristic, but uh, she has made some mistakes I didn't expect her to do. Yeah, me too. the sort of tactics that we, we talked about earlier that yeah. uh, you know should this pair in red win they they need to start attacking a bit more because playing as defensive as they've done is definitely not the way that's a beautiful fix serve really really good it is so inching closer to a, a third game here Really got caught, didn't she? Yeah. I don't know if you noticed, but I find so it interesting over. that uh, Seventeen, Chan King is. Sort of every time there's a drop shot for Zhao Yun Lei, she's actually in to cover it for her partner at the front of the court. So she's got to cover three quarters of the court where mm. Zhao Yun Lei is just, just covering herself. Well, there's a challenge here from Yu Yang. Yeah, challenge. Yeah, she's losing it. Out. It is out. Yeah, I think what was perhaps influencing her to make a challenge was the fact that her opponents were calling the shuttle before the line judge had <laughs> made a decision. Yeah. They didn't really like that. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. So two points away from service over. Number two 19, seventeen. One point 
away. 20, 10.17. Oh, the record for you, young. Service over, 18, 20. pressure now on uh, Wang Xiaoli to yeah. see if she can save these two game points and get them back to 20 all. Oh, short. Nice in 20. of the game point opportunities for the world champions. Second game. Twenty-one nineteen. Final world champions. Second, twenty second. Ready? One again, level play. So here we go with the third and deciding game. Oh, that's more lively. That's how she was like in the one stone as well. Service over. One, all. Oh, Yu Young standing at the net where the shuttle had landed but refused to pick it up.
world champions, in my opinion, have definitely tried to work and keep the shuffle so on Ying or Young. Or I said in the opening game that there were question marks at the beginning of the year about her stamina and her fitness. I must say that uh, if uh, Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang is not able to win on a day when uh, their opponents are not really playing up to scratch and they have uh, destination Dubai and everything else to play for, yeah, I, I, I see it's very difficult for them to win in the future if they can't win on a day like this. Yeah. Well, we've been smiting, haven't we, all week? about and in fact for the last few months about future women's doubles partnerships absolutely they have yeah. so many options and choices oh, that's really a quite grave mistake by Wang Xiaoli there She moved well enough for the shot and gave herself, herself the opportunity, but she missed it sorely. The fault touched the shuttle, Tian yeah. Ching. Well spotted Five by the umpire. Yeah. See the shuttle move slightly. Service over. Five, all. I help but think, Morton, when we were at the Uber Cup finals in Delhi earlier this year. And in the final. Service over. Six, five. I can't quite remember. And we saw Wang Xiao Li playing with Zhao Yun Lei. Yes. And it was Awesome. That was a very, very good doubles. Yeah. Oh. Now the crowd beginning to get involved. Oh. 
Yeah, we talked about that. That might be the future doubles that they were pushing for for the Olympics, but uh, but somehow I um, find it difficult because otherwise they they have to start to put these doubles in place. Yes. And this was in in May, which is uh, six months ago. We talked about it, and I think time is kind of running out for that experiment. So so chances are that they. Um, We'll stick to what they have here. But somehow there is one of the young doubles that seems to have lost momentum completely, and I think that they're not top seed in this tournament. They were the eight days. It, it was, was uh, well, well, seven, six. And Tang Ching Hua. Well, yep. yeah. And they, they won, what, uh, nine or ten tournaments in a row, and... Uh, I don't know how many finals and, and so on. And suddenly they, they totally lost momentum. Yes, they have. Service over, seven, eight. Only there'd been this intensity in the first two games, Morton, because this has now developed into a very interesting contest. Yeah, much better play now. Chan Ching has been the, the best player on court. This one here is a beautiful one as well. I think she has yeah. been by far the best player on court. Off the four players. Yeah, we were saying that in their semi-final against Matsutomo and Takahashi, weren't we? Mm. Very impressed with her. It's very interesting. Wang Xiao Li has stayed on court. She's the only one of the four players to stay on court. And all the others have gone off. Tail down. Oh, now she goes. Now, this is where, Morton, the court's been mopped. Get the players back on. Yeah. Okay, ready?
play. Not sure where would have gone for the line there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think she completely made that decision. It's just happened, I think. Yeah. I think it was a good choice of shots uh, because on a few other occasions, had she gone straight, she has made, made mistakes. So. Yes, I think that was a good choice. 11 9 interval between N. For the defending champions. <laughs> Mid game interval. Of the third game. Eleven nine play. <laughs> Service over ten eleven. Service short. Service over. Twelve ten. Oh, hang on, wait a minute. The umpire telling her to change the shuttle. Did any of the players ask to change the shuttle? Yeah, uh, surely. Otherwise, he wouldn't ask. No. Against challenge. So you lay challenge. challenge. Pour in. Your guy asked to adjudicate. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 
14, 10. Well, that's the biggest points difference we've had so far in the deciding game. Lee? It's good you said deciding game. Because I was already starting thinking we have had more than four. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking at the score for the first game. 21-16. Yeah. Service over. 11 15. Well, she perhaps realises that was maybe their last chance. They have to believe that this gap can be closed. It is only five points. Oh, I challenge that. Have you see that one? No, Service I, I over. didn't see it. The, the, the monitor was just in the way. really rallied well rallied as in fought back <laughs> <laughs> yes as in uh, uh. <laughs> why do we have so many words in English that are said exactly the same way that have totally different meanings <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a wonderful language it's, it's a big language you have so many options if you're able to control it. Fresh air shot. How often do you see that? Once a year. It's not after this that she was lunging forward, we didn't get to see it. Service over. 17, 15. Service over, 16, 17. Oh, that's a super idea. No, no. Service over, 18, 16.
missed it. Leah? Two points away from making history on CLV and Yu Young. Flick serve. Oh, it's long. Well, Zhao Yunlei actually indicated that she wasn't ready and therefore a let should technically have been played. Yes, because that comes Seven first. Over. Yeah. Well, Zhao Yunlei indicated we definitely need to see this again. Here we go. Look, she indicates, holds her hand up saying, I wasn't ready. And then it's called out afterwards. Exactly. <laughs> you like ready? Having a few odd decisions today by the umpires. Mm. That's called cool. good. Service over. Well. 20, match point 17. Three match point opportunities. Defending champions. Service over. Eighteen twenty. It's a match point opportunity. Challenge. Call in. That's it. That's it. That's clear. It's not really being no. out. No. <laughs> challenge unsuccessful. No challenge remaining. <laughs> Nineteen twenty. About 29 all. Mm. We've never commentated on one of those together, have we? No, no, we haven't. I've never commentated on 29 all. And it is now 20 all. The three uh, match points for the defending champions have come and gone. Olympic champion and plays it into the bottom of the net. Extraordinary. Look at the delight from the three time defending champions. This means that there's a fourth match point opportunity. A fourth opportunity to win a full straight title here in China.
for the first time ever. A pair has won three, four consecutive titles here at the China Open. Huang Xiaoli and Yu Young defeat the world and Olympic champions. Three games, the first two games, lack the spark that I had expected to see throughout the entirety of this match. But the third game was an absolute thriller. 22-20 in the deciding game, an hour and 12 minutes. And once again, for a fourth consecutive time, Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang are the champions here in China. Ladies and gentlemen, now we are going to present awards to the sponsors of China, China Open 2014, part of the Midlife BWF for Super Series Premier. 各位领导、各位嘉宾、观众朋友们，接下来我们要向赞助商颁发太和二零一四年中国羽毛球公开赛赞助商纪念奖。the women's doubles finalists invited onto centre stage and for the world Olympic champions Tian Ching and Zhao Wenlei to settle for second best 
But for a fourth time, Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang win the title here at the China Open. In fact, as a women's doubles pair, they've never lost here at this particular tournament. First year of the Premier's 2011, they won the Grand Slam. I wonder if that will ever be achieved again. All five Premier events. Denmark Super Series, French Super Series, and now the 